uh, YouTube in the London Hack Space. It's Saturday night, it's nearly 11 o'clock. I've popped in to take a few measurements. Uh, somewhere under this lot are the parts we've been um, collecting together for uh, a multi purpose vacuum station, uh, primarily probably going to be used uh, for vacuum coatings, a bit of uh, vacuum glass work, you know, uh, uh, thermionic valves and the like. There's some other pumps here. We've got a uh, We've got the, the we've got a nice backing pump down there now. That's uh, going to be using to run. We've got start again. So I... now this project started when someone donated that thing back there, which is a uh, part of a diffusion pump and coating system from a small home home operation. I'm going to have to quickly dig that out and do some measurements on the parts. Uh, it's an Edwards E04 diffusion pump under that. Uh, we've got we bought our own uh, backing pump, which should be at the right capacity to back it properly. We've got a couple of other pumps that have turned up since, which should be just fine for doing uh, resin deassing. So it wasn't only one uh, unit with two different purposes there originally, but now we should be able to divide up between uh, it's two separate units. Okay, all I'm going to get time for tonight, at the moment, is what I've done already now. Which is I've uh, just uh, taken the parts apart. It's got a seal on it at the moment, some plastic over it to keep the uh, majority of muck out. There's still going to the bubble still need reconditioning before we use it. Uh, it's probably going to need pump oil as well. But I've just taken off the various adapter plates to measure them. Uh, now the sequence they go back together. Unfortunately, they're not uh, all designed to be used with this pump, so there's a few adaptions they've made here. The pump o ring goes on first, then this adapter plate, blank side to the o ring. That reduces the size slightly. Now, that, with that reduced size, the flat side of the cold baffle goes on next. That's been uh, machined down at some point in the past from four to well, six recesses. That's not actually secured in place. That's just rests loose. And uh, they're probably going to have some trouble getting that completely in alignment. Now, next, uh, blast, which was it? Him next. Okay, recess. Uh, so, next, I believe. No, it's not that one. It's got to s now we have to. Next, we have to reduce the diameter. Now that has already has a recess in it, but no O-ring, I believe. Yep, that's yeah. That misses. That's that's actually inset to that. Right. Okay, let's ignore that, pretend that didn't happen. Okay, that one slides on top of that. And the baffle's clear. That lip here that's been removed allows for the clearance of the big sprung cam. That operates the big valve here. Fits on there. That one moment. Both hands. Uh, yeah, that's the one all the way down there. I will endeavour to bring a tripod next time. Come on, I can feel it's coming in. There we go. Slightly just to hold it in place. Okay. Next, we have this strange adapter plate, it's an extension piece, but it's got a tap in the side of it. In a very unfortunate location. Because that's cemented in on one side and uh, looks like puttied in on that side. 
Maybe it means it was leaking, but that's aluminium housing with a bit of copper tube going through, so it's a pretty nasty bodge there. Okay, and that's flat surface that's down on that o ring. And that is the pump stack together. I'll put a couple of washers and nuts on just to hold it loosely together. Okay, well, not that loosely. Okay, there's cooling loops here for the valve and for the baffle. Be nice if we get a nitrogen trap for this thing as well. Now that, see at the top there, mounts to the flat surface on the chamber base we've got here. Uh, which is also trouble. Uh, you see there the marks where the seal is made to it. Got some tapped holes there. I'm going to presume that's for probably a oh, mesh filter stop stuff going down into the pump at least that's what it can be repurposed for Just take measurements of this chamber and uh, I think I'll call it a night because it's got some strange non-standard size parts a no bell jar no rubber gasket on the open end so uh, that's going to be tricky to source alright Still, I suppose that there is probably the roughing line. It's probably the roughing line for the uh, chamber. That's probably the line for uh, the pressure sensor. So let me, do we have one inside the pump? I can't remember. Uh, my contribution to the project has been mostly been that, which is the big 5.5 kV transformer from well, that part of the place that does vacuum coatings, and that box there is full of accessory components which I haven't got a chance to go through, I haven't got the time to go through right now. have been through it very briefly for, didn't inventory it. Anyway, this is going to turn into a very intriguing unit. I'm going to take some measurements of this room as well, since this is the closest we have to a clean room, it's probably where the system will end up. So any system will have to be made so it will fit through this doorway and maneuver into this recess. I'm thinking sideways to the door, into the toilet, and then dog leg back around into this section. I'll possibly just remain in the loo. I'll measure both rooms just to be on the safe side.